can you tell me why the life of the ISS is now coming to an end? Uh, for the same reason the life of anything comes to an end, it gets old and worn out. Uh, the structure has a finite lifetime. Um, any piece of metal, you know, you take a paper clip and you bend it back and forth and it'll break. That is true of anything made out of metal, including an international space station. And the space station is always getting bent and flexed and stuff like that. So anything, any machine, any creature, a uh, star, a planet has a finite lifetime and we cannot build things that last forever. Can you tell me what it coming down looks like and what the timeline on that is? Uh, 2031, I think, is when we are planning to deorbit the station now. Now it costs a lot of money and it is still more or less working, so we might extend past that, but that there are international agreements that go with that. Uh, we also want to start building a new space station in orbit around the moon, and if we're spending all our money on the old one, then we can't afford the new one. Back in the 70s, we had Skylab, and 15 or so years after we were done with it, its orbit decayed, and it re-entered the atmosphere, and bits of it fell on Australia, and Australia was understandably not super excited about that. Uh, the space station is much larger. Uh, a lot of its pieces might survive re atmospheric re -entry, and so that means you have to deorbit it in a controlled fashion. And that means you have to be able to slow it down so that it enters the atmosphere decisively instead of just kind of gradually, gradually skimming in. Uh, eventually it will fall apart. All the individual elements will enter separately. Um, and we want to put them in the South Pacific Ocean where nobody lives, 50 degrees south latitude. Um, that's actually near the point in the ocean that is furthest from any land and not much shipping goes through there. So it's the safest place on Earth to bring the space station down. 